I, I am honored and I am humbled, and it certainly is one of the big thrills of my life. Well, I have a passion for athletics. I also have a passion for history. So naturally, sports history has become a passion of mine as well. And I think it's important just to preserve that history for future generations so that these old timers could always be remembered uh, and maybe still be able to roam among the playing fields and the gymnasiums as their modern day counterparts. I mean, it was very time consuming, but it was really a lot of fun. Um, some people might go out and play golf for five or six hours, that's their enjoyment. I actually enjoyed doing the research, particularly, and the writing about all these great athletes. Oh, it means the world to me. Um, I enjoy the swimming uh, immensely and, and never thought that I would make it my career, but I'm working at the Barber National Institute running their swimming therapy pool. And it, um, to be able to be inducted into this Hall of Fame uh, is just another little milestone that I've reached and, and, and I'm very thankful. Um, I, I, I loved the sport. I just loved it. And so it, it wasn't too hard for me. And um, I loved uh, being at the practices and the, and the meets and, and I excelled in it. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. Well, <laughs> there are so many um, different techniques to the sport that allows uh, the swimmers to get faster and faster and faster. I have three beautiful daughters that excelled in the sport as well. And um, we compare notes often about what we couldn't do when we were swimming and what they could do now. Our starting blocks were homemade in some of our um, events or some of our pools. Um, there was swimming techniques we couldn't do that they're allowed to do. And so um, it, it's, it's, it was, it's a lot of fun comparing um, the, the difference between back then and now. So. It's real special. Um, I'd never even thought about it. And when I received the call from the committee, um, it was not only surprising, but it was uh, very well received by myself. Nice. I have short-term memory loss <laughs> and the beginnings of dementia, so I really don't remember. It's been so long. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, uh, it, it has been a long time. Now, from the days I played, I mean, I played high school, ended in 1980, college was 84. Um, coaching is more relevant to the, this time period with Strong Vincent for five years and prep and three. But, you know, everything was great. I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, I, I love playing, I love coaching, and to somehow get some reward for that at the twilight of my life, that's, that's nice. Well, I mean, everybody that I've read up on their biographies and stuff, and you forget about things, and then you start reading about it, like, wow, that, that person's impressive, that person's impressive. So it's an honor to be in that group with all these uh, great individuals. An unbelievable honor that I don't feel worthy of. Um, you know, I've kind of been known for sneaking into whatever the best events are going, and now I'm sneaking in to the Hall of Fame. But it, it's a great honor, and and the class that I get to go in with are some special people, people that I've had the opportunity to cover, to work with. So it's 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 a unique and special honor. It's been an incredible run, and, and I tell this to people all the time, you know, we're fortunate where we are in Erie, Pennsylvania, that we get to cover. We've had the opportunity to cover World Series, Super Bowls, NBA Finals, Olympics, Olympians locally, you know, but there's nothing like high school and local college sports in this community. And and I, al I always tell people, one of my biggest rewards is knowing that a story I got to tell touched somebody. And I tell people, no matter how hard I try, I can't impress Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> but if I can impress a, an aunt or a mom from Union City or Harbor Creek or you know one of our communities those those things are special and, and and in my day we didn't have the internet and now seeing a lot of my old stuff start coming up on the internet and seeing the reaction from people is, is pretty special to the opportunities of what I've had the opportunity to cover and be able to be there for and, and truly getting to be where I can get to be and know these people in their lives. And, and, and that's pretty special. It's in, it's in, now we're, we're realizing it. I don't think we realized it during those times. And, 
and again, I bring up the internet because, you know, back in the day, if you didn't see the 6 or the 11 o'clock news, you didn't see what we produced unless we hand delivered you a VHS tape to your school or your home. But so, so now we're starting to realize, and, and, it, and it actually touched me not, not long ago. I posted old footage of the first Marlins team to play in Erie in 1992. And they were playing against the Hamilton Redbirds in single-A baseball. And a guy from the Hamilton Redbirds hit a home run over Roosevelt School, and I had video of it. Well, through posting that old video from 1992, that player ended up seeing that home run. He never knew that video of that home run existed. And his kids never believed that he played pro baseball. So he's actually coming back to Erie to go back to Ainsworth Field and to kind of relive those memories. So that's when it hits you that, that these things do, do make a difference in people in their lives and their families and a good way to remember some special and, and I don't even call them sports moments. I call them life moments. And that's, and that's all I was. Maybe my camera should be getting inducted into the Hall of Fame and not me. Because I just pointed the camera. And, and, and I, was, I, was, I was the best bandwagon jumper there ever was. And that's what I'll go in as, a bandwagon jumper.